This is Computers as Components, Chapter 2, Pick 16F Instruction Set. So in this video, we're talking about the Pick 16F, which is a very widely used um, microcontroller. There are several different uh, members of the Pick, uh, Pick family. Um, this is the Pick 16F. We'll talk about the processor and memory organization, the data operations, and the flow of control. So, as we mentioned a moment ago, the exact features vary from model to model. Uh, but um, these are Harvard architectures. Um, the 16F has an instruction memory that's stored in flash, so it's a permanent memory of up to 8192 words. Instructions are 14 bits long. The data memory includes up to 368 words of SRAM and 256 bytes of electrical, electrically erasable programmable read-only memory. The data is byte addressable. Here is a um, diagram of the programming model. The PC is 13 bits. Um, it's shadowed by two registers, PCL and um, PCLath. There's a stack for the program counter. It has interrupt vectors and it has four pages for the main part of memory. So the PC can be loaded from this eight-level stack, which is separate from the program and data memory. The stack operates as a circular buffer. Um, it's used by call and the return functions, which are return, ret LW, and RETFI. Um, the status is located in bank zero, and this includes ALU status, reset, and bank select. So uh, in the data space, we talk about a general purpose register as any data memory location, a special purpose register as I.O. devices, and so forth. So to understand the addressing modes, we need a little terminology. Um, the um, addressing modes use several abbreviations. F is a general purpose register. W is an accumulator. B is a bit address in a register. And K is a literal, a constant or a label. Um, so if we want to use indirect addressing, that's controlled by the INDEF and FSR registers. So an access to the INDEF register causes an indirect load through the address uh, given in the FSR register. The um, 16, PIC 16 f has uh, many different operations for operating uh, for data including arithmetic, boolean, move operations, rotate, swap. It also has a watchdog timer, which is used uh, for checking the uh, proper operation of the machine. Here is an example of code for an FIR filter. This is a um, um, label for the loop. We can see we're um, loading in here, testing the loop, see if we're done. Uh, if not, we're following through the branch here. We compute the addresses of the first array value, compute the second array address here, get the first value, get the second value, multiply, perform a running sum, store the result, increment the loop counter, and then go back to the test. We have several flow of control instructions. There are unconditional branches, conditional branches, subroutine call and return, interrupt return, and also a standby mode. 